Daniel Ladmoreau. I'm the program director here at CK Desar, and it is my great pleasure. The lady sitting to my right, my boss, the force behind CK Desar, Executive Director Maureen Brennan. Thanks, Maureen, for taking some time out on a very busy day, a very busy schedule to, to talk to us. Um, now, of course, you and I go back a long way. I've known each other, we've known each other for years. And, um, but for the uninitiated, why did you start CK? Give us the history of CK. Genesis to, to today. today. Well, way back in the last century, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, uh, in the early to mid '90s, Lafayette Community Theater, which is of course where we met, right. uh, closed down, and suddenly there were loads and loads of actors, and actually more acting companies coming together. There were like seven or eight different companies in town, none of whom had a place to perform except uh, the occasional uh, restaurant and dinner theater, and it was like, well, that didn't make sense. Uh, so I started looking around for where can we have another theater, and, uh, and out of that initial idea came Zeta. Correct. And, and your, your mission on not only to serve an underserved part of the community and the, and the arts community, but there was also a focus on the French culture and children at the beginning. Now, there were several things uh, I really wanted to accomplish. One, of course, was allowing uh, the theater community a place to actually showcase their work, uh, but uh, also, you know, I had grandchildren that were in the French immersion program, and it struck me that it's really not a living language if the only time a child can use a language is in a classroom. And so we wanted to um, have some activities and experiences here where both the children and the adults uh, could utilize this uh, language and, and really connect with the culture here. Uh, even in the immersion classes, they didn't often have the chance to really hear uh, the Cajun and Creole speech, and so we wanted some of that and for them to also learn how they were connected and the whole community connected to the rest of the world as we sort of discovered in the rest of the international. So we wanted to program, the, actually the very first programs we started were uh, children's theater classes in both French and in English. We had uh, two separate tracks. First day we sent out the, uh, the French theater class announcement. It was full within two hours, and we had to, <laughs> had to put the brakes on and call in all the other flyers. So uh, that was a, a part of it. Also, just wanted to have more diversity in programming, and that meant uh, cultural, ethnic, age, uh, and and even in the discipline. Wanted all the disciplines. Uh, Lafayette's always been known as a music community, but I've lived here 30 years, over 30 years now, and it's like there is so much depth of talent in other areas, just as there is in music. So we really wanted that to come to Absolutely, here. absolutely. And I, I, and I believe the, this year, 2015, we'll be going into this will be our 15th. Well, it's close. Year, close. Well, we actually, we, we identified this space, which is in the back of the Evangeline Hotel, in about 97, 98. Mm -hmm. um, we incorporated in the year 2000 as a nonprofit, and Harold Register was our first board president. Uh, and we started construction in March of uh, 2002, and 10 weeks later, we had a brand opening. All right, so 13 years. 13 years. 13 years. Yeah. Excellent. Now, in that time, of course, uh, CK has kind of become an, an institution downtown, due in no small part to the force of your personality and your persistence in, in, in this place that, that you do love so dearly. Um, but we have developed uh, close relationships with Festival International, Codafil. What are some of the other cultures or, or groups that we've that we've been able to serve over those 13 years. It's just been more than just the French version. It's been... It's, 
it's been great fun and a real eye-opener for me how many connections we've been able to build. Um, at the beginning, even though we didn't have a lot of financial support from the local government, we had uh, the Quebec government pitched in, <laughs> the French government pitched in, uh, we had uh, we've had artists from Italy, we've had artists from um, Australia, and numerous other places. Uh, and serving as a site for all the different festivals here has certainly uh, brought more cultures well, in. Well, it is certainly the place where cultures connect. That's that without was, a doubt. <laughs> that was part of, that was our thing. It right. is our thing. That's an, it, it's, it's, has been an, it's an incredible story. It's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun working here as program director. So, Maureen, thank you again for coming in. I know you have a very busy schedule, and uh, we want to have you back again. We, we're going to keep doing this more and more. All right. Excellent. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thank you.